Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We have a big day today on EAFC 24, especially because of the market movements that I'm expecting to see. Guys, I want to talk about the first set of rewards that we're getting today across the entire Ultimate Team this year, Squad Ladder Rewards, and how it's going to move the market a lot, how we can make coins, and also watch our players that maybe we've invested in or maybe even still make investments today that we can hold for the next couple of days with the market rising probably a considerable amount in the next couple of days. We're going to talk about all of that and look forward to today's content on Sunday as well. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and, of course, subscribe if you have not now yesterday i want to go back really quickly and talk about some content that dropped yesterday as there were two good sbcs that were released the first one at james madison center attack in mid player of the month our first potm sbc of the year and this is an august player of the month card obviously we're still in the month of september september player of the month has not been decided yet love this from ea right we haven't got august player of the month for the past couple of years love this sbc first of all spurs fan had to do it right away to get it into the team but i love the price it just seems so much more affordable to do this james madison than the kdb sbc now i understand james madison's card is nowhere near the level of the kdb but 38,000 coins 39,000 coins for an 84 and an 85 rated squad i believe it is very easy to do i did it straight from my club and i only bought one player off the market and a lot of people are doing this sbc and I think it has, it resonates with a lot of people because it is pretty cheap. And if you want to get it done, I think that's fine. Uh, I would just say, again, this is where we're going to start talking about this throughout the beginning of the year. Just be careful doing a ton of SBCs and draining your coins throughout the year. This is a card that will last maybe a month or two on the game. Um, but if you don't have any special connection or if you're low on coins, it may be a skip for you. And it may be an SBC that you say maybe in 29 days because he's out for a long time. He's out for literally 29 days. Maybe that's one that you get done if you really want to, but it's not the most pressing of SBCs, right? Fodder is up. You can see 86s are rising. They're almost 7,000 coins. 88s are 15K. People are doing KDB and people are doing uh, the James Madison SBC. And I have to think that part of that has to be because we're getting some really good packs and objectives that is feeding fodder into our clubs. And then we're going and doing kind of the only SBCs that are available right now, right? James Madison and the KDB SBC. So that was a nice SBC that was dropped yesterday. Now, the fact that we just got a player of the month for an August player of the month, guys, um, I want to just kind of throw something out there. If we're going to get more August player of the month SBCs, maybe in the next day or two, let me just uh, show you who won player of the month in the La Liga. It is Jude. Yes, La Liga's player of the month this last month for August was Jude Bellingham. If we're getting more POTM SBCs, that would be insane. Remember the Valverde? Federico Valverde Player of the Month came out, I believe, on this day last year, like the first weekend of the game last year during early access. If we were to get a Player of the Month, Jude Bellingham, that would be insane. I'm not saying it's coming. I'm just saying there's potential for that now that we had an August POTM James Madison. Uh, Boniface uh, from, I'm saying that name completely wrong, from Leverkusen, he won Player of the Month for Bundesliga last month as well. I don't know who won it for Serie A. Um, but there's potential for other player of the months to be released. Specifically, that Jude would be a crazy, crazy uh, SBC if we were to get it. So I'm just saying the potential is there to get more of them. And that's exciting because player of the months this early on, especially for the Madison, as we saw, are actually pretty decent value. Now, also yesterday, we had a brand new pack SBC which was expected, the Red and Blues. And just like the Reds SBC, it required a different club. We had PSG was a requirement for this SBC. And if you're doing it on the web app, it's glitched. It's going to say, oh, the PSG player does not work. On console, it does. So I don't know what's going on with EA and these SBCs. Hopefully they get it fixed up. But this seems to be a trend that's starting to form. Are we going to continue to get more of these types of SBCs? Because every single time that we get one, like Liverpool players went up in price, right? Um, today, PSG players on the men's and the women's side went up in price because they both count for that SBC. Now, they're back down, but I'm pretty sure that PSG players were all around 2,000 coins right away. Guys, this might be a potential investment opportunity. I can imagine that EA is going to drop. They drop Premier League Day 1, League 1 Day 2. Is there going to be a Serie A? Maybe Juve, maybe uh, Milan, maybe Inter could be featured in an SBC like that today. I just think there's potential for them to go through all the top five leagues, pick a massive club from any of those leagues, 
and maybe you know there's an investment opportunity here i think you know if you look at barcelona you look at real madrid a lot of these cards if you were to stock them in your club try to get them on bid especially during a time of supply like today at squad battle rewards if you want to make a purely speculative investment that ea was going to drop another pack SBC like this throughout the coming days into this next week and feature one of those top clubs from one of the other leagues, I think you could do that. So a bit of a risky play because there's no leaks, so there's no real for sure things confirmed with that, but it's a potential investment that you could make if you wanted to just try not to pay too much more than like six, 700 per card, especially if it's rare or non-rare golds, because rare golds, that's almost this card, but non-rares can go down to 300 coins. So that way you're not uh, having too much risk if there's no SBC that comes out. That's a potential investment you could do. Maybe stock your club a little bit as those cards could rise. Who knows? Now, also yesterday, uh, we had some more packs refreshed in the store. I got a quick 80 plus pick here. Whoa, 87 rated fodder. We move. Guys, some of these objective picks and packs are insane right i think i've got another pack in here to open with you guys today silver pack um what do i have here i've got an 80 times two these packs are really good like watch this one's gonna be bad uh french goalkeeper wait a second who is this who am i packing right now okay I was, okay 83 rated well you know it is what it is but i've seen so many people pack really insane cards oh darwin nunez I just started my Founders Evolution with uh, Julian Alvarez. Dang it, man. I would have used uh, Darwin Nunez in that if I would have waited. But that's like a 27,000 coin card on the market. Guys, those objective packs are actually really good. But what I was trying to show you in the store was that EA did refresh the promo packs from yesterday, but only the tradable ones. They didn't refresh the 50K pack that was untradable, but the countdown timer is once again ending today. So I would assume that those tradable packs in the store are gonna refresh and maybe EA adds in another pack today. So that could bring some more supply to the market. Like we've seen the past two days now at 6 p.m. content time, prices drop on the market because of supply. And that is again, what happened yesterday. Speaking of Darwin Nunez, let's look him up really quick because Darwin was 31,000 coins yesterday around the content drop time. Right now he is down to about 27K as a lot of cards dipped down in value because of the supply that once again came in, right? We had the SBC uh, that gave us a tradable pack from the red and blues SBC that brought some supply in. James Madison has two segments, tradable SBCs uh, inside of those or tradable packs back inside of those two SBCs. And that made prices drop yesterday. You can see Dan Juma was 16K. Content comes out. All the supply drags him back down to 13 where he is now. Now, speaking of supply, guys, we're talking about the market. We're talking about prices. Prices are starting to rise on the top tier meta and they're starting to take off. Today might be one of the last opportunities to invest. Today is a massive market day, as we said in the intro of the video, because we have our first set of rewards today and it is squad battles and guys if you take a look at some of these rewards right now i'm in like i'm silver one right i'm probably not going to get anything higher than am i close to gold i'm not that far off of gold maybe i'll try to play one more and get in there but you look at some of these rewards um i know a lot of people that have been playing all their squad battles games since they know it's been the first set of rewards to get uh, guys there are like elite three a mega pack tradable premium gold players a premium gold pack and 12,000 coins, even if you're just getting an okay rank and getting like gold two, you're getting a small rare gold players pack, jumbo premium, and 7,000 coins. There are a lot of coins and also tradable packs that are going to be opened up today. And I really think it's going to be a catalyst for a lot of people to go back out to the market to buy players for their teams, and we're gonna see prices rise. Now that's the biggest thing that's happening today. A lot of coins and a lot of packs are coming to the market, which means we're gonna have some supply, but then we're going to have, just like we always see with rewards and like kind of we saw even yesterday on the game, we're gonna have more coins in the game and that means people are going to go and buy up cards. That top tier meta of cards is just going to keep going up. Take a look at Neymar. Neymar I think was like 280,000 coins yesterday or maybe even like 250K. He's 350,000 coins right now in this game. We have a lot of prices that are just continuing to rise. Rafael Leal was like 120K, uh, I believe, and now he's 150,000 coins. Uh, there are prices that are moving upwards. Basically, every spot on the market in this game that is a top tier, more meta type of card. Guys, prices are rising. Today is going to be an opportunity to probably buy some stuff and see it go even 
higher, but it's also going to be a time where cards maybe drop down and, and really drop in price because they're going to get packed a lot and they may not bounce back up as much. Today, if you're going to try to buy some cards, guys, I would focus on more expensive or at least middle to high tier because those are the cards people are going to be upgrading to that are on the game. I'd be very careful with a card like Ansu Fati. Alex Balde, which yes, there might be some evolution hype for some of those, same thing with like Darwin Nunez, but a lot of people are going to be upgrading past the guy like Alex Balde, maybe upgrading to somebody else to a higher rated version because they're getting rewards, they're getting packs to open. Cancelo is a card that is up a lot right now in value, There's, we'll talk about that in a second, but maybe that's somebody who people upgrade to from Balde to Cancelo as they get coins and as the Barcelona links are very in demand in this game right now. So I really do think today this is how it's going to go with squad battle rewards. We're going to get a moment or two, maybe even three, uh, probably like 20 to 30 minutes, guys, honestly, of when the rewards actually hit, we're going to get some supply on the market. And card prices are going to drop for just a short amount of time. But after that, I think it's going to be chalked and I think prices are just going to be rising. There's going to be a lot of people investing because they know that cards are being packed and they know that coins are coming onto the market. So when those prices dip for that short amount of time, I do believe prices are going to continue to rise. Guys, prices have already started to rise on a lot of those meta cards. Um, again, you just had a, a Madison SBC yesterday, so I'm looking at some Prem cards as well. Bukayo Saka right now, he's one of the cards that's actually kind of dropping on the market. He's about 35,000 coins, which is a bit lower than what he was. But then you took you take a look at the rest of the market and you see some of the players we just looked at, like Rafael Varane, uh, Leao. A lot of these guys yesterday are just kind of on the way up. I think today might be maybe, maybe at most, you have a bit of a dip, not even as drastic as we had here yesterday with supply. It's probably going to be like a small dip and then probably just more of a rise today. I think that's the expectation for a lot of the top tier meta cards. So maybe you snipe during that supply of rewards. Now that rewards time is 9 a.m. UK. It's very confusing, actually. I wish EA showed it better in game. Um, it's kind of difficult to see. I think if you go on squad battles, it's like really small. If you like back out, like I see, it doesn't really say in here, right? Like it says, I have my up, my opponent's update in a certain amount of time. And then it says, boom, next competition. So like four hours, right? From right now is when, or five hours, I think is when the rewards are going to come out from right now when I'm recording this video. But um, watch this space, okay? Watch the market today because there's going to be a lot of movements there. Now, that's not the only thing you're going to be able to do. It's not just, Nate, I'm trying to snipe cards when the supply hits and then watch them rise. What I would also tell you to do today is get on the bids, guys. This is one of my examples for an 88 rated card that if you are like, Nate, I don't have a ton of coins. What can I do today? Get on bids on SBC fodder, all right? There is going to be demand for people to do the SBCs like James Madison, to do the SBCs like... Kevin De Bruyne because they're going to be getting rewards today. They're going to be getting coins. And what it's going to bring with the supply is it's going to bring people wanting to do SBC. So if you go and take a look at some of the cheapest players by rating on Footbin once again, I would say get on bids for 85s, 86s, all the way up to 88s. I can't believe that 88s are approaching 15, 16, 17K like that. That is crazy. When these cards were like 8K three days ago, it's absolutely wild that fodder is already moving. And the full game isn't even out yet. So watch for bids on those types of cards today. You'll be able to make a lot of coins there, in my opinion, if you're on the bids and you're grinding those. And then also, I would say the low tier meta. I know we just said be careful with that. These would be the cards that I'd be the most careful with today. But these cards are still in demand somewhat. So you see a guy like Balde who went from 2.8K all the way to 3.5K from a Friday night into Saturday. Yes, he dropped down, but if he has a big drop off today, like let's say he goes to like 1500 coins, could he go back up to 2500? Absolutely. So maybe you find another example of a card who's a bit on the lower tier, who is somebody that people may be upgrading from in their team because they're, you know, going to have more coins and they can buy a better player. Like Depay went from 5K to 6K and now he's down to 4.5. If he's like 3K during rewards, you might be able to buy some of him or actually, you know what? The guy we've been talking about just about every single day on this channel, Bruno Gimaresh, is 6,000 coins. Look at the drop off that he had yesterday from 8.5K where I sold him in the morning on Saturday, all the way down to 6,000 coins is where he is right now. If this guy's like four and a half K on bid during the squad battle rewards, like, yeah, you could probably still buy that and he still might have a bit of a rise. Maybe he goes back up to like 7K from 4,000 coins 
and that's a really good profit. So that's the sort of thing I would watch out for if you're on a lower budget, get on the bids, get on the snipes, get out there and get trading because there's going to be a lot of movement today, a lot of movement up and also some movement down because of the supply that we are going to have. Now, also, if you're like, Nate, I'm like really low on coins, I would bid on SBC solution uh, players. I'm talking non-rare golds and rare golds that move because of the SBC solutions. Hector Herrera is somebody who in the past like day or two, if you see his footprint graft, he gets into the solutions a lot. Hector Herrera's card goes from 450 coins where he is right now. As you can just see, a couple times in the past day, he went to 2.5K, he went to 3.7K, and 2.3K just like an hour ago, right? And now he's 450 again. So maybe there's an opportunity for you to stock a Hector Herrera or somebody like this in your club because you know at some point they're going to get in those SBC solutions again and go back up. Today would be a great opportunity to do something like that as well. So really, guys, the way that I see the market happening and, and moving today is I see prices dropping for a slight amount of time, and then I see them going up a decent amount. And right now, I'm, I know I'm not going to be awake for rewards, so I'm kind of just taking peeks around the market and saying, like, where can I invest? And one of the spots in the market that's really heating up right now, guys, are the women's players. And let me just show you some of the graphs of cards like Sophia Smith, Yesterday, 147,000 coins. She's now 213,000 coins. Guys, there is a lot of hype right now in this game for the women's players, specifically because it is starting to be, um, I guess, known and starting to be realized that with the build that these women's players have in game, they are just straight up meta, okay? Their dribbling is insane. They're tough to tackle, but it's really just the dribbling that's so insane for a lot of these cards. And their prices were so low during the early access period, they're now just taking off. Uh, Diana was like 99K. The, the female Mbappe is what people call this card, right? The women's Mbappe, because she's very fast in game with good dribbling, 132,000 coins after being 90K yesterday. Uh, I was watching Sam Kerr yesterday on stream. Uh, and her card is out of packs. She was like 210,000 coins. What is Sam Kerr's gold card now? 270, 280. Guys, prices on these women's cards are moving up a lot. And I think it's going to continue because if this truly is a part of the meta, people are going to be buying these cards because they're going to want to try them out. Maybe if they writ wrote them off before as not very usable or they didn't want to use these types of players in game, um, I think that's going to be pushed aside if they see that they're actually truly more meta in game. So definitely watch out for the women's cards today. There's going to be a lot of movements there. Uh, like the Inform Karchawi left back is a card that has gone up a ton recently. I don't know if you guys have been keeping track of Team of the Week prices. Karchawi is 170K. These are some of the first prices to rise, by the way. Salah's extinct. His max price is 500K. He's up like 80K on the day, and he's now extinct. Lamptey's up 20K a card. Dybala is up 20K a card. Doku's rising. Hummels is rising. Mkhitaryan, the entire team of the week is rising. Coins are getting on this market, guys, and more are coming today. That's why I'm very, very expectant of prices to continue to rise today, even though we're getting rewards, which some people would think would mean old prices dropping. Now, other things on the market that are moving that I want to make you guys aware of, investing for upcoming team of the weeks. We looked at that Cancelo card just a bit ago on Footman, right? I actually have one Cancelo still in my club. Cancelo is rising a lot, all right? He's 39,000 coins. He was 28, 29,000 coins yesterday. The reason he's going up so much, and the same thing that Harry Kane's gold card is going up so much as well, is both of these guys had performances that are team of the week worthy. They could be getting into team of the week too, which would mean their gold card is going out of packs. Guys, we have confirmed it. Gold cards are, when they get a special card, they are out of packs. It's just like old FIFA, so you can invest in the gold cards when they go out of packs. And that is what people are doing with Cancelo and with Harry Kane. Their prices are up. Now, this could be an opportunity. Cancelo, by the way, is up a lot. I would not buy him unless he was like 33 or 34,000 coins, 35K max after seeing him rise this much. Um, and it's it's unknown, right? If he actually gets a team of the week card, that's what the investment is for, though, right? A lot of people are investing and saying, hey, Nate, I think Cancelo is going to get an in for him because he scored, what was it, a goal and assist or two goals. And Barca came back from being down to, to win. Harry Kane had like five goal contributions, goals and assists combined. So he's like a very obvious answer for Team of the Week. That's why those cards are up in value. I have one more Cancelo that I bought at 29K. I sold one. I still have one. I'll probably hold on to this until Monday, Tuesday as Team of the Week predictions start to come out. 
his price may rise even more. He's a meta card that links to a lot of Barcelona players anyway. So another reason to hold the item. And that's probably when I will look to sell the card just because I want to get out and sell in the hype. That is one thing we talk about very often. And I'll remind you guys of is selling into the hype, right? There's hype of Kane or of Cancelo getting an inform. You want to sell before everybody else does. Even if they do get an inform, they could potentially go higher. There's so many people that have invested in these cards. If they're really not worth that much because they're inflated, then it's usually good to sell in the hype on those. So that's one thing I'd watch out for today too. We got more games happening today, of course. We got the North London Derby today. Um, we've got other Premier League games that are happening. Chelsea, Aston Villa, Liverpool, West Ham. If somebody has a really good game, Atletico Madrid and Real Madrid, right? That was a part of marquee matchups. If somebody has a really good performance, their card could go up on the market as a gold. That could be a really good investing slash trading opportunity today. If you're watching a game, you see somebody having a really insane performance, go check their price on the market, right? They could be going up. If you time it just right, you have potential to make some coins. So again, today in the store as well, I'm expecting the packs to refresh. So I would probably say if you're buying cards like I am, specifically just to have rises on, uh, today, like again, I'm looking at Bukayo Saka is one of the cards that is down a lot right now. And maybe it is because a lot of people are switching over to trying out some of the women's cards. But this is still, I mean, a card that so many people want to go for in Ultimate Team. Um, you know, 33K for Saka right now is really, really mad. I sold him at 40,000 coins earlier in the day yesterday. Um, so that's really crazy for me to see him at 33K right now. If I can get a snipe at like 31 or 32, uh, I might have to just go for that because that is a crazy low price and I might just have to go for it. So that's kind of what I'm doing right now. But I would say quick flip the cards if you're going to be trading and very active on the market. Quick flip the cards before 6 p.m. today. I do believe the market's going to rise throughout the rest of this next week, at least until the middle of the week. Um, but if you don't want to hold on to them and you're if you're just in it for like, Nate, what can I buy today to sell today? Um, you know, you would probably want to sell in the hour or two after squad battle rewards, because then as we get towards content, once again, like we've been seeing every single day, another tradable SBC, uh, another round of store packs that people can open. You might see some prices sl a slightly drop after content again today. So maybe your best time to sell would be a couple hours after squad battle rewards, but keep a close eye on the market, depending on what you're wanting to do. Uh, today on this game. It's going to be a wild one. It's going to be a crazy one. Get ready for those squad battle rewards. They're coming soon. And uh, honestly, just keep an eye on the market as prices in the top tier should continue to rise unless we have some sort of crazy content SBC that none of us are expecting. That could happen. You never know. It's EA. But for right now, it's looking like a market rise day today. And that means a lot of coins are potentially going to be made. If you enjoyed the video today, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe if you're new. I'll see you in a video on the channel tomorrow. It's been Nathan Account and catch you guys there. Peace.